Hello friends, welcome to a new Find It. As I said, I wanted to continue playing Find It games. Um, sorry, I haven't really been... I know I finished uploading uh, Dark Strokes, but I should have just went straight on to starting to record Stray Souls or one of the other Find It games and started posting, but I didn't. But I'm going to try to continue forth now and then complete this set and go on to other ones. I think there's still, he's actually, I think, a, a more interesting one out of the four that I have out of this pack. So, let's get right into this one. I think it starts with the cutscene, as they mostly do. We've got a quaint little shop, house. Seth, I love you so much. Who's that? That's oh, a very, like, um, what's that game series called? the flashlight on oh yeah you're not Sa I thought you're Sam for some reason you're not Sam you're her my god time for some find it uh, casual I just don't want to I'm gonna skip tutorials because I know how to play finding games what's inside the box the address of the center is blurry. Can we go only a few letters? I don't have pliers or nothing, so we gotta find pliers. I don't have key. Uh, what? What? Why well, you guys have that? What? Why did it break? You're telling me nothing here, game. Go into our mysterious hatch basement. What is this basement? You guys need some cleaning up to do here. Centipede, there's right there, microscope. That shouldn't be too hard to find, should it? Why are you being hard to find, microscope? Microscopes are like not there yet. Uh, ship, pop right there, film reel, those are usually, yeah, pretty, and a hard necklace. I think that counts. A sickle, one right there. Flask, I saw that earlier as well. Pliers, that's what I'm looking for right now. Right here. One sock. You guys need to clean up your basement. Oh, you just have one sock down here. Thief, a saw, and an umbrella. Good stuff. Not too hard for a first find area. We got pliers, good stuff. Let me in. Nip, nip, nip. She's got the fastest hands for the pliers I've ever seen. It's a doll from nine. They're just called uh, sack boy, little sack boy dolls. <laughs> Hello, are you Danielle? Do you want to know where Sam is? I'll help you find him. On the convenient, he's far from here in the town where he lived when he was a child. He's told you about this place? Don't worry if he hasn't. Everyone hides something. Search this room and you'll find a clue to your husband's past. Sam is in danger. Hurry or you'll lose him forever. Good to know, tiny rucksack doll. Also, why on earth are, did I not know of this as a, like, search more? Careful. Okay. Uh, how did I not use my husband? That's kind of a very important thing. Samuel Hunt's record. This is like pretty extensive thing to hide. Why did Sam hide this from me? Samuel James Hunt took part in experiment number 6485. Lived with his parents. Woman just recorded in the next page. There's a bug in here for some reason. Oh god. I have this half a photo for you. It's actually quite creepy. But he's actually a neat little helper. He's like your little cunt. Wow. I legitimately forgot how freaky this one was. Someone tried to block out, blot out the address. I could erase it. Oh, I have an eraser. It feels like I would do 8 Lost Street. It's where Sam's, where Sam lived with his parents. The only thing I know is to go. The only thing I know to do is go there. Good to know. You found out where Sam used to live. Well done. Let's go. Time is short. Your journey, your journey will be filled with danger. But if you use wisdom, you'll succeed. 
Good stuff. My name is Danielle Hunt. This is a photo of my husband and me on our wedding day. We were so happy. Then dark clouds settled over home and one of our terror night changed our lives. I'll record in this journal. Everything that happens to me as I try to find out what happened. I'm going to try to be a little more uh, good about like pulling up those clues and stuff. It adds to the story and kind of it's all these games tend to have going for them. Sorry for the beanie. I'm going to try to be wearing it from now on if I didn't already say. My hair is a pain in my opinion. A bright light. I'm dying. Is this like Silent Hill the Find It game? That's what it feels like, almost. It's a little boy. Hey, that boy looks like Sam when he was young. Talk with him. Hello, my name's Jimmy. You're Danielle, right? You're looking for your husband. I've seen him. How have you seen him? Town isn't safe. Bad things happen here. Sam is in danger. I'll try to help you, but you need to do something for me first. Do you see a dollhouse that's broken? Can you fix it? It's a lot to ask for me, small child. That I've just met. An apple core, you say. There's one. An eyeball. That's pretty obvious. A whole scorpion. There's one danger in this town already. The scorpion. I think, like, live bugs are usually pretty easy to find, aren't they? There they are. I was going to say, they're usually, like, in the front. Some boots. That's a boot, though, isn't it? No? Is that just someone's leg? That's a boot. A feather, you say. Where do the feather be? I was going to say, in the hat? Maybe it's just a hat, though. TV. In the back. Uh, three different butterflies. One here. Uh, uh, where's the other two? I see a hat and... I should have figured. It's like one in the middle. Aha! Hiding as well. Five. I knew I saw that one. Toy roof. That sure sounds a uh, pertinent thing I need right now. That shouldn't be. That's a, like a large thing, isn't it? Where it be? It should also like look very out of place compared to like everything else. Oh my god, I can't believe I spotted that actually. A dollhouse key. Oh, I just assumed a key in general. A lime. I saw you earlier. And a watch. I also saw that earlier. I think. Yes. Good stuff. Good good indeed. New dollhouse and toy roof. Get out of here. I don't need you on my screen. Windows missing. Something's behind the <laughs> something's behind that door. Too bad it's locked. Not for long, I say. And there's a tiny mailbox handle. I guess it goes here. Does that really need to be down for that to open? Maybe. And please find Clive and Linda Hunt dead due to unknown circumstances. They are survived by Sam Hunt, their eight-year-old son. It's quite a dark story, honestly, for a, for a kid's find-it game. Not a kid's, but like a find-it game in general. Take the dolls and teach you about Sam. Collect several dolls and learn about the... You just did this. Ooh. Thank you. Small demon. So this is... A little uh, warning here is a bit more of a horror game than a lot of find it's I think tend to be except for a few that I know of. What happened? The town's been plunged in the darkness. Take the dolls the boy gave you. And I sure will. Ah, they're just using the same technique they use for uh, dark strokes. Except to be honest, way cooler. Because that's telling me that a uh, dollhouse is telling the same story. He was an extraordinary child. It sounds like he was a mutant from X-Men. Give me that rag, Sam. This is the house from which the box came. You need it to get in, the, and get in there and try to find your husband. Alrighty. Give me that whole 
walking. That's a really nice looking walking stick. Very elegant. He's missing an arm. Well, the doll's missing an arm. You fix it already get in the house. Get. Save me. Someone's asking for help. Was it Sam who wrote that? Is he in the house? Maybe. That's what. There's the arm. Needs a whole piece of a, a moon piece right there. A key. Stuck in the wall though. There's a shovel in there. Do you find a lever? Can I use a walking stick? I'm so smart. Uh, I assume that's back here. Right here. Right there. There we go. What's under? A steel fangs. I assume it's here. Many things lie beyond this gate. You need to pass through to the other side. Sound like I'm dying. Okay, it just says any time. How dare you? Okay, so it's one of these. Uh, I'm going to assume that's the top. Okay. There we go. I was like, am I doing this right? Probably, maybe. Oh, Beyond Objects, let's see if I can find all these ones. I was kind of doing this last time for Dark Strokes, but didn't get super far into it. No, I wasn't. I had started recording a different game, one of the other Find It's, which had Beyond Objects 2. Uh, I was actually doing kind of well finding them. But that footage is also kind of gone, which is unfortunate. It's not gone, of course. It's in that other laptop. But I'll just have to record again. I think it just shows, oh, people in this town. I'll just have to record again. It's fine. Oh, an apple right there. That voice is contagious to me. I like it a lot. A jug. What kind? Like a juice jug or a water jug. That's a bottle. That's kind of my issue. There's like a whole chicken bucket, which some people call a jug, maybe. How dare you give me an item and I have no idea what context you're asking of this item? Uh, I itchy. Why? That looks important. I'm going to assume I need to collect that. Where's the jug at? If I don't find it soon, I'm going to the next one. So I don't want to have to waste a lot of time looking for one item. That's a backpack. That's like a thing that holds other things, so it's unlikely. It's that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There's a fire signature, a bell. I'm thinking like the old timey like X marks the spot jug like alcohol jug thing. Where it be? Let's see. Unfortunately the way I found to play these games I have to like minimize the screen to be like a, a not full screen box and then I have to use a window capture instead of a game capture. Which means this game is like way smaller looking on my screen, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the next item for now. Skull locket. Oh, I was pointing that out earlier. Broom. That's pretty large. Some keys. I feel like that can't be too small of an area, can it? You can't hide keys in like a tiny, tiny spot. Hmm. And yet, it sounds like they did. Nope, nope, nope. Where it be? Where it be? The keys, I need those keys. Handcuffed. The issue is you always. Ah, there you are. You're hiding. A snowflake. Where's the snowflake? 
Oh, there it is. I almost clicked on that earlier, actually, by accident. Three different caterpillars. I know I've been seeing those guys around here somewhere. There's a bug. There's a caterpillar. I think there's one too. Aha! Some lace. What kind? Like what shape of lace are you asking? Or shoelace? Is that what you're asking of? That sounds actually probably more accurate thing they're asking me to find. Well, that's not it. No. Come on. What kind of lace are you asking me about? I'm assuming a shoelace. It's defying me right now. It's like, no. They'll never know what you're looking for. It's not this rope. I'm trying to be... tame with clicking. I can get through these games in like 30 minutes if I wanted to just by random clicking half the time. Because you'll find a bunch of stuff doing that. But that's not entertaining. Or, satisf or satisfying more so is that. Not lace, apparently. Hmm. Hmm. But let's move on then, shall we? Thermometer. I don't want to waste your guys' time with this if I don't have to. A hen. There he is. A pedestrian sign. Those are yeah, there you are. Uh, wire cutters. I think I've seen those. There they are. So now a lace and a jug. The two things that are making me struggle. This looks like you can consider it a jug, kind of. So now it's up to me clicking things that kind of look like maybe they're a thing. Uh, and if I don't find it fast enough, I'm going to just uh, use a hint or something. That's a whole mouth. I just noticed that. That's a tricycle. That's a camera. I don't want to use a hint because I'm going to have to wait for another hint. There's a lace. It was talking about that kind of lace. I'm so offended. Let's actually just use a hint on the jug. Oh, it's a little picture of one. How dare you. It was kind of what I was thinking of. Scroll locking in wire cutters. Let's try to find the... That's an actual thing. Okay. The uh, interstellar item. The interstellar. Transdimensional item. Apparently. What's this box? Broken candle. Good stuff. I are. Uh, wait. Is that just part of this? Ah, I got the bird. It was a bird. Good to know, guys. I need some water. Good to know. What is that goo? I should clean it off. I can't be touching gross stuff like that. I have a rag. Ugh, someone just like blew their nose all over the door. Uh, what do I have that I can use? Candle, bug spray, wire cutters. Uh, I think I know what to do with the wire cutters. Let's go up here and get these. Oh. She's like, I can't do it. There's like beetles or something. Well, you can do it. Let's go back here, give this man back his arm. Actually, it could be man, woman, androgynous kind of thing. All right, we got this door open, but this seems like a good place to stop for this episode. As always, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. If you do, I think you're wonderful. If you don't, I still think you're wonderful, so it's completely up to you. If you like to like and comment, that'd be wonderful as well, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.